another set of questions on the aromatic chemistry topic and as always the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try them first. Okay so for the first question we've got to explain whether the student's correct that carbon-13 NMR could be used to distinguish between these three nitrophenols. So two nitrophenol all of the carbons are different or have different environments so that's got six environments. Three nitrophenol again six environments because all the carbons are different there's no symmetry in these two molecules whereas in four nitrophenol obviously that's unique but these two carbons here are equivalent these two are equivalent to each other that's unique so there's four environments here so is the student correct well no because this could be distinguished but these two can't so I'm just saying the student's not correct. Four nitrophenol has four carbon environments. Two and three nitrophenol both have six. Therefore, two and three nitrophenol would not be able to be distinguished. Next part, really common question. I'm sure you've seen this loads of times now. So phenols nitrated more easily due to the lone pair of electrons on the oxygen of the OH group being delocalized into the ring. That increases the electron density of the ring, or you could say the pi electron density is increased, and therefore it's going to attract or polarize electrophiles more readily. In benzene, the pi electrons are delocalized, so the electron density of the ring or the pi electron density is decreased or lower than phenols. It's therefore unable to attract or polarize electrophiles as readily. Moving on to this unfamiliar mechanism, so we've got this SO3 molecule as the electrophile. We've already put a um, dipole across the SO bond. So all we need to do is take a pair of electrons from the delocalized ring of pi electrons to the slightly positive sulfur. The knock-on effect of that is to repel the pi electron pair in the bond onto the oxygen. That's going to give us that intermediate there, and then we need to take a pair of electrons from this CH bond back into the ring. 